Hello friend, in this video we will discuss the different type of GJs and their UGs. Okay, so let's start the video. So before going to start the different type of gauges let us discuss what is meant by gauge and why we are using the gauge for uh, while inspecting the product okay the gauge is the tool we use to check if the product meets the specific requirements or the not okay so after manufacturing the product uh, we are verifying the dimension with the help of gauge uh, this gauge is there in that one portion, uh, one side is the go side and another side is the no go side. So this is the product, suppose this is the product and I want to check the diameter of this hole. Okay. So here uh, on the drawing, it is mentioned that uh, diameter of 20 plus or minus 0.1 means it has the uh, means upper limit and the lower limit. The, you can see here the maximum material condition of this hole is 19.9 and the least material condition is 20.1 okay so this gauge is a design at means a, a go side is designed at the maximum material condition and the no go side is designed at the least material condition so so here so if this promise uh, if i measure this uh, hole so i need to uh, insert this uh, gauge into that hole suppose the go side is completely fitting in the hole okay and the no go side is also completely fitting uh, fitting on this hole then we need to reject this part okay and suppose only the go side is fitting and no go side is not fitting then we need to accept the part only we want the go side it should be fit there okay so these are the three conditions okay suppose the go side is fitting and the no go side is also fitting reject the part because this is the worst condition okay it should not fit there okay okay so only we need to uh, fit the go side okay it should be go with the no go side means not to go okay and go side means it should go okay so these are the two uh, different side of the gauge okay go side and the no go side okay or here you can see that go means uh, so go gauge is the tool that check whether the part dimensions are within the acceptable limit or not so uh, suppose it is completely fitting in the a hole it means that it is within the acceptable limit okay okay and no go cage is the tool that check whether the part dimensions are outside the acceptable limit okay so suppose uh, the no, no go side is also fitting it means that it is the out of the acceptable limit okay so at that time we need part considered defective or the not acceptable Suppose the go side is also fitting, at that time we can see that part is not as per the requirement. Okay, and go side is fitting, at that time we see that uh, the, uh, the part is uh, uh, in the means as per the uh, requirements and the, we can accept the part. Okay, so by using the gauge we can quickly determine if the product is within the design range or not and the gauge are important because they help us to make sure our product meet the quality standard and the customer expect expectation so with the help of this gauge we are verifying the dimension of the product after the manufacturing so this is the quality tool okay so let us discuss the different types of gauges so the first one we have the plug gauge okay so you can see here the different type of plug gauges are there plain cylindrical plug gauge thread plug gauge paper plug gauge and the progressive plug gauge so this plug gauge uh, we use to check the uh, diameter of the hole or the internal uh, dimensions okay so so uh, uh, this uh, uh, comes in the cylindrical portion you can see here and uh, if uh, as i already said if it is perfectly fitting uh, uh, then we will accept the part so this is the go side and this is one is the no go side okay and you can see here uh, 
for progressive uh, plug gauge uh, so the go side and the no go side at the one uh, one side only because so this first portion it is a uh, uh, go feature and the the next feature is the with the increase in the dimension it is a no go feature so go, both the go and no go side at the one side only here okay so and this the thread plug gauge we uh, we used to check the internal thread heads okay so here it is a measurement technique you can see so this is the part i want to uh, verify the dimension so i am here verifying the internal uh, diam uh, means a diameter of this uh, pin okay so here i need to go insert this plug gauge into this uh, 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 hole and i need to verify the dimensions okay so like that it will be we can verify while inspecting next one we have the ring gear okay so the ring gear uh, we use to measure the external diameter or the thickness of the cylindrical object so the object being measured should fit into the ring gauge with the minimum or no play if it is within the specified tolerance so uh, here we are uh, means a ring gauge we are inserting over the shaft you can see it okay uh, and we are verifying the dimension so uh, this ring we need to uh, uh, place over the uh, means shaft and we are verifying the external dimension likewise uh, we, uh, we have the here thread heads and we have the taper ring okay to uh, measure the taper features so you can see here the measurement techniques for the ring gauge we need to insert the here yeah, you can see bolt or like that so here uh, or the you can see the insert here bolt here so we need to check with the ring gear here like this we need to insert here perfect if it is perfectly going then uh, we can accept and if it is uh, not perfectly going then we will reject the part so it comes in uh, the ring gauge comes in the with the uh, go and no go gauge so next one we have the snap gauge so snap gauge is also comes in the different varieties like a single ended snap gauge double ended snap gauge adjustable snap gauge so it has also two side uh, the uh, go side and the no go side so no go side you can see the sc here with the red highlighted marks are there so it is a uh, no go side okay so here uh, the snap gauge we are using to check the outer dimension of the object like the shaft and the plates okay so here uh, this portion we can call it as a uh, anvil okay so anvil we call it as anvil this and other is a uh, gauge body okay so like the same way we need to hold the part here okay so we need to hold the part here and need to measure the dimensions okay so here you can see so i need to measure this component so at that time i need to hold this part into these two portions here and i need to measure with the help of dial indicator so this is the measurement techniques for the snap gauge next one is a very important measurement tools is the dial gauge okay so the dial gauge has the different uh, means the number of applications are there and uh, the dial gauge we we use to check the flatness circularity run out cylindricity uh, surface roughness variation so we, so there are number of application of this dial indicator so it comes in the two varieties like a plunger type dial gauge and the lever type dial gauge so here you can see with the we need to put the dial in uh, dial indicator and this is the dial indicator probe we need to uh, 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 means uh, uh, at each point we need to put this uh, 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 dial probe on the part and we need to measure the dimension means we need to take the different readings of this uh, dial indicator at the different points okay and after that we are getting the uh, data for these uh, dimensions and we will get the dimension for this uh, part okay next one we have the filler gauge suppose we have the 
very small gap between the two object at that time uh, this filler gauge we are using to check the uh, very small gaps or the clearance between the two object you can see over here between the these two components are there and if it is small gap is there at that time we are inserting this filler filler means a very small uh, here you can see the different thickness of this uh, uh, filler okay so we need to uh, check which filler is completely uh, completely fitting okay so uh, suppose uh, uh, this filler is completely fitting so uh, on that one reading is there okay the thickness of the filler is there so this is the gap between the two components so this one is the filler gauge so likewise uh, with the filler gauge we have the radius gauge okay so to check the external uh, to check the outside and the inside radius okay so here you can see to check the external radius we we will use this uh, these are the filler these are the gauges and to have the internal radius we have these uh, gauges okay so likewise we need to measure the here the radius okay so uh, here is the thread gauge okay so likewise the radius gauge so here is the thread gauge so there are the number of patterns of the threads on the uh, this gauge are there and we need to verify by putting this uh, gauge on the nut board or nut board or any threaded portion we need to put on this one and after that we can verify the pitch size and the profile of the screw threads okay if it is properly engaging at that time we can say say it is a uh, its pitch size and profile we can say okay so likewise we can verify the uh, threads and its size okay next one we have the drill gauge so drill gauge we you can see here the like a plate is there and the number of uh, standards uh, uh, diameter of holes are there okay on the strip so we need to put the drill onto the uh, diameter and need to verify the drill diameter so drill gauge we use to verify the diameter of the drill likewise uh, uh, to verify the uh, uh, means angles at the end of etc at the end there is an uh, tapered angle is there so that uh, uh, drill uh, suppose i need to verify the uh, uh, drill angle at the end so at that time we use the drill angle gauge okay so here you can see over here on this on this uh, diagram also and the bore gauge so bore gauge we use to uh, check the deep bore hole so you can see the, the long rod is there and we need to uh, suppose we need to verify the deep bore uh, diameter or the hole at that time we use the bore gauge next one we have the slip gauge so here on the box you can see the different blocks of the uh, hardened steel okay so these blocks we use to verify the uh, gaps between the two objects. Suppose, uh, like we have seen, the filler gauge is there. So, for a small gap, we use the filler gauge, and for uh, uh, suppose it is uh, uh, having the sufficient gap is there, at that time we use the uh, slip gauge. Okay, so. And here we have the taper gauge. So as name suggested, we are uh, checking the angles of the object uh, with the help of taper gauge. And the taper gauge it look like this. Depth gauge. Uh, so uh, it is also sometimes we call it as a vernier depth gauge or vernier caliper depth gauge. So it is used to check the depth of the object. So wire gauge is very important. So it is used to check the wire diameter. So one ring is there. So in that there are number of holes are there, and we need to pass the wires into these holes. Okay, and need to uh, and after that we can uh, verify the wire diameter with the help of wire gauge. Okay. So next one we have the angle gauge. So angle gauge we use to. Uh, verify the angles or we can 
see that we in angle gauge we use to check the angle of the object so this is the angle gauge so friend that's it for this video thank you for watching if you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel